Okay, so we're talking about infections. Tayson, what do you think here? All right, so 10-year-old um, enhancing signal within the medullary canal of the tibia. Okay. And yeah, some edema within that gastrocnemius muscle too. Looks like it's kind of peripherally enhancing. Is this like a bone abscess or something? Well, okay, so we see that there's something here. We also saw there's some soft tissue. Yeah. This is the other side nine months later where you see a little abscess in the soft tissues. Yeah. What, what might your thoughts be here? Kind of a nonspecific focal area. It looks like an inflammatory change there in the diaphysis, a little soft tissue. And then we see that there's lesions in the opposite side in the soft tissues. Patient um, wasn't all that sick. <laughs> so something systemic is what you're saying? Yeah, this was aspergillosis. Okay. So it was a fungal infection. Okay. And once it was treated, it see it significantly improved. Okay. Tell you are. Okay, so looking at the subcutaneous tissues, the medial calf, and yeah, and the skin, there's edema. Yeah, again, edema there. Um, the Look, muscles. Maybe fat set. Mm -hmm. You can see that there's a lot of edema here. Well, yeah, and it's, yeah, yeah, mostly in the skin. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, and this is kind of hard and kind of funny texture to the skin here. This patient had no renal failure and had multiple injections of contrast beforehand. Oh, okay. Could it be uh, also, okay, so it's related to the contrast fibrosis, yes, yeah, systemic so fibrosis. Systemic yeah. fibrosis. Okay. Robert. All right, so we're looking at the foot here and uh, looking at that first MTB head and throughout the TMT joints, there's a lot of bony erosions. Be concerned for some sort of rheumatological disease primarily. Right. So it looks like multiple erosions and then a lot of synovial thickening in all of these joints all around them here. Erosions everywhere. And you have to kind of think of possible gout also, though we don't really see the sharp spicules that we typically see with gout. And this patient had long standing rheumatoid arthritis. Back. And uh, at this point, it was in the early days of the current treatment. It had not been treated properly. Okay. 58-year-old right, female, rigid second hammer toe. So I see some periarticular erosions at that second metatarsal head. There's a lot of soft tissue here. Maybe so, here. Yeah, maybe at the fifth as well. Yeah. So the axial images. A lot of synovial thickening. A lot of synovial thickening. So, to see here. Earlier uh, rheumatoid. Sagittal images. Oh, this was rheumatoid arthritis. Sixty-seven rheumatoid palpable lump. All right, a soft tissue lesion, plantar aspect. First MTP. Yeah, maybe it involves a, a, a tendon sheath. Just mixed signal. I mean, with rheumatoid arthritis, could be a rheumatoid nodule. Yeah. So this was a rheumatoid nodule. Roberto. 
All right, so here we have radiographs for chronic ankle pain. And it looks like there's a lot of soft tissue overlying that lateral malleolus, kind of in that region, yeah. Okay, so I guess you want an MR scan. Yeah, that'd be nice. Thank God. The, the hind foot, and the hind foot looks and problematic. Yeah. yeah. What specifically are you concerned about, John? Pardon me? What specifically are you concerned about in the hind foot? The sw swelling in the hind foot. Yeah, a lot of swelling here. A lot of swelling. Okay. And the calcification is obvious. Yeah. And a little hard to see here, but okay. The bone, bony a lot. On your Here's lateral. Uh, lateral. Uh, yeah. Here. Yeah. Here. Let's see. Uh, looking at the MR, it looks like there's some bony erosions, maybe some uh, edema on the bones. and Yeah, a little bit of kind of diffuse bone edema. Well, what do you see back here concerning that calcaneus? Yeah, it looks like there's some hind foot valgus. And... Yeah, and lateral bony impingement here. So this is a patient who had uh, uh, chronic adult-acquired flat foot deformity and uh, a lot of degenerative disease of that subtalar joint, and then this is usually due to, uh, usually, usually, but not always, due to uh, posterior tibialis tendinopathy, right? But we can also see that there's all this, well, it looks like a fusion in the joint space, but maybe that has more, maybe it's not fully uh, fluid, maybe there's a little bit of signal intensity here in it. And also see that that uh, little bit of concern concerning the articulation here between the anterior process and the, and the navicular. If we go to the axial images, what do you see here? Uh, here it looks like there's a lot of soft tissue swelling and you know, fluid surrounding the uh, perineal tendons there, and yeah. synovitis. Looks like a split tear here. And the pit, but the PTT looks pretty good here, mm -hmm. right? But we see a lot of tenosynovitis involving the perineal tendons, and uh, you know, see post contrast. There's a little bit of stuff here inside this, and then we can see the synovial enhancement around it. And this this is actually rheumatoid arthritis. And so if we've got bone erosions, we've got a lot of synovitis, tenosynovitis, uh, tendon and ligament injuries, bony instability, and there are actually a, a fusion. Uh, and th these are a lot of the late findings that you can see in chronic uh, rheumatoid arthritis. Yeah, and again, as I've said before, and there talks about arth arthritis, uh, you know, now in this day and age with treatment, this diagnosis should be made extremely early before there are any x-ray changes and treated so that this doesn't happen. Go ahead. Yeah, so it looks like there's a lot of soft tissue fullness between the third and fourth metatarsal heads. Yeah. Maybe an erosion there at the third metatarsal head. And here on the coronal images, we can see that there's thickening in both of these inner spaces. And as you said, probably a little erosion right there. Yeah. And then, so what do you think here? Um, I mean, again, it's some sort of inflammatory arthropathy. I don't know if this is like a Morton neuroma. Yeah, if I just saw this, I'd think it'd be bad. If I just saw this, I'd think maybe Morton's neuroma is but this was all rheumatoid disease, kind yeah. of mimicking Morton's neuromas. These are probably too big for Morton's neuromas. Yeah. This was all uh, synovitis. This is all synovitis, even here, but markedly thick in there. So this was rheumatoid disease. A 50 year old female foot pain and rheumatoid. Um, yeah, we're looking at the plantar soft tissues, uh, some edema there. Okay, on the next to the fifth MTP, there's soft tissue thickening. 
I, like a chronic pressure center. Okay. Um, and then here's with contrast, a little kind of peripheral spotty enhancement. Yeah. And uh, that turned out, it's, I mean, this is a classic pressure lesion. Turned out when the, they did a biopsy on this, it was a rheumatoid nodule. So. Robert. All right, so we had two MRIs of the ankle here, and it looks like there's a lot of edema in the talus and navicular bone with a lot of Robert? degenerative change. <laughs> yep. Sorry, can you hear me? Did we lose Robert? I see his. Uh, if he's trying to talk, you know. Can you hear me, Robert? Are you are you on mute? I'm not on mute. Can you hear me? I hear everybody. Uh, hmm. John, are you there? Can you hear us? Uh, I can hear you, but for some reason, yeah, I, I can hear you. Hmm. Why, why are we not communicating? Robert, John, can you hear us? Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, I'm going to quit out of this and come back in because it looks like we somehow lost communication.